welcome to the lecture series of ai in this lecture we will have a brief discussion of the agent structures so we will discuss agent structure agent programs simple reflex agents model based agent goal based agent utility based agent and learning agent so this will be the big outline of our today's lecture so let's talk about the agent structure we all know that the job of ai is to design an agent program that implements the agent function and the mapping from percepts to actions so agent program will implement the agent function and from perception to the actions it will be mapped so this program will also run on some sort of computing device with the physical sensors and actuators so all this will be called the architecture so how an agent can be represented the agent is the integration of the architecture and program the architecture and program will be combined to form the agent so the program we choose has to be one that is appropriate for the architecture so an agent must have architecture and the architecture will be having sensors and actuators plus it will have the agent program that will implement the agent function so if the program is going to recommend some actions so these actions must be performed by the architecture in a better way so if we perform a task a task is related to work so an architecture must have better legs so an architecture might be just an ordinary a person computer it might be a, a robotic car with several on board computers cameras and other sensors so in general we can say that the architecture makes the perceptions from the sensors available to the program it runs the program and also feeds the program's action choices to the actuators as they are generated so an agent program takes the current percept as an input this input will be taken from the sensors and it will return an action to the actuators so the difference between the agent program and the agent function is that the agent program takes the current percept as an input and the agent function takes the entire percept history so the agent program takes just the current percept as an input because there is nothing more available from the environment also if the agent section need to depend on the entire percept sequence the agent will have to remember the percepts so that's the basic difference between the agent program and the agent function so we can calculate the total possible percepts so let p be the set of possible percepts and capital p be the lifetime of the agent so the total number of percept it will receive will be equal to the submission of t equal to 1 up to capital t that is the lifetime of the agent 
so the total number of parts shared will be the power of t a simple reflex agent the simplest kind of agent is a simple simple reflex agent these agents select actions on the basis of the current percept ignoring the rest of the percept history there will be no concern of the percept history in a simple reflex agent it will only be responsible <coughs> for the current perceptions so let's consider the vacuum agent example the vacuum agent whose agent function is tabulated in figure 2.3 it represent a simple reflex agent why it is a simple reflex agent because its decision is based only on the current location and on whether that location contains dirt so the first figure shows the agent program for a simple reflex agent it have the two state vacuum environment So this program will implement the agent function according to the current state. If there is dirt, then it will perform the cleaning action. Else, if it will turn right or if it will turn to left. So wherever it will, it is it seem dirt, it will perform the uh, it will perform the cleaning task. So in the next figure there is a diagram of simple reflex agent the sensors are connected to the environment these sensors transmit input data or signals and the actuators will perform the actions depending upon the current scenario or current situation so the condition action rule will be applied on the basis of the current scenario or current perception so we can relate this to the car braking example if the car judges the next car or the front car if it applies brakes then the car will apply brakes so the depending upon the current situation the perception or the action will be performed so how a simple reflex agent will works it acts according to a rule whose condition matches the current state as defined by the percept so when the condition are matched the task or act performed so the agent will work only if the current correct decision can be made on the basis of only the current percept it means that only if the environment is fully observable even a little bit of unobservability it will cause serious trouble so the next agent type is model based reflex agent we can update a simple reflex agent into a model based reflex agent by changing or by updating certain scenario what will be the scenario so the agent should maintain some sort of internal state that depends on the percept history so what we have discussed in a simple reflex agent a simple reflex agent it only works in a in a current perception scenario but a model based reflex agent it will uh, same it will save some sort of uh, history or the perception history so it will reflects at least some of the unobserved aspects of the current state so for the braking problem the internal state is not too extensive so what it means it's just the previous frame from the camera along the agent to detect when two red lights as the edge of the vehicle go on or of simultaneously so in the simple reflex agent we discuss that if the car observe the front car applying brakes so it will also apply brake but in the model based reflex agent it will judge that 
the two red lights at the edge of the vehicle go on or off simultaneously so that will be judged by the model based reflex agent so for other driving tasks such as changing lanes the agent needs to keep track of where the other cars are if it can't see them all at once so it will have some sort of perception history the model based reflex agent will keep the perception history on the basis of this perception history it will perform certain task and the actuators will perform that task depending upon the perception history so the figure gives the structure of the model based reflex agent it shows how the current percept is combined with the old internal state to generate the updated description of the current state so based on the agent's model of how the world works so in this figure we are showing that when sensor give the input signal to the block having the uh, information about what the world is like now so there are certain perception histories in the form of state how the world evolves and what my actions do all these informations will also be given to that block and then it will be forwarded to the block containing the information about what actions i should do now or what actions will be done by the actuators so some sort of information will be updated regarding the perception history and depending upon the perception history and the current state the model based reflex agent will work so the goal based agents are the updation or the upgradation or the updated form of the model based reflex agent so knowing something about the current state of the environment is not always enough to decide what to do for example at a road junction the taxi can turn left or turn right or go straight on so what will be the correct decision the correct decision will be dependent on where the taxi is trying to get out get to so in the other words as well goal as a current state description the agent needs some sort of goal information that describe situations that are desirable so there must be a goal that will be considered or that will be defined in a model based reflex agent so a model based reflex agent will be updated or upgraded by the definition of a goal that how this goal can be achieved so what will be the goal that will be achieved so it will make a goal based agent so for example being at the passenger's destination the agent program can combine this with the model base or with the model the same information as was used in the model based reflex agent so the actions will be chosen to achieve the goal so figure will show the goal based agent structure in this figure a model based agent is represented so it will keep the track of the world state as well as the set of goals what goals the goals which it is trying to achieve and choose the action that will eventually lead to the achievement of its goal so in the sensors they send information in the form of signals to the block containing information what the world is like now so it will obtain the state how the world evolves what my actions do and also what it will be like if i do action a so it will consider or it will define a goal and will also look up at the goal that performing certain types of action what it will be like if certain actions are performed so on the basis of all these perception history and goal information so the action will be performed by the actuators 
so the goal information will also be added and the perception perception history the current perception state all these features factors will be combined to create a model base goal base agent so the next type of agent is the utility base agent so we have discussed goal base agents but we say that the goals alone are not enough to generate high quality behavior in most environments so how it will be justified for example many action sequences will get the taxi to the destination in this form the goal will be achieved but some will be quicker safer more reliable or cheaper than the others so there will be certain factors that will affect Uh, the quality of the agent so goal just provide a crude binary distinctions between happy and unhappy states a more general performance measure should allow a comparison of different world states according to exactly how happy they would make the agent so because happy doesn't sound very scientific economists and computer scientists use them the term utility instead so utility will define that if the goal is achieved so by achieving that goal how the performance of the agent is related so if the performance is well so it will be the uh, feature of a agent so the performance measures assign a score to any given sequence of environment states it can easily distinguish between more and less desirable ways of getting to the taxi destination so the goal of the taxi is to reach destination so it can reach destination or it can lead to its goal by certain methods certain ways certain routes so an agent's utility function is essentially an internalization of the performance measure the goal is achieved on which parameters so that will be defined by the performance measure so if the internal utility function and the external performance measure are in agreement then an agent that chooses action to maximize its utility will be rational according to the external performance measures so the utility based agent will be the combination of uh, a simple reflex agent plus model based agent plus goal based agent and also the performance of the agent so all these factors features will be combined to form a utility based agent so this figure shows utility based agent it uses model of the world along with a utility function that measured its preferences is so the goal which is achieved will also be measured according to the performance of the agent so it will choose the action that leads to the best expected utility where expected utility is computed by averaging or all possible outcome states weighted by the probability of the outcome so the sensors will be connected with the information of what the world is like now what it will be like if i action i do action a and how happy i will be in such a state so that will be defined by the performance of the agent so a utility based agent will be the combination of simple reflex agent the model based agent and the goal based agent along with the performance measures so it will be a utility based agent so the learning agents will be divided into four conceptual components the most important distinction is between the learning element which will be responsible for making improvements and the performance element the performance element will be responsible for selecting external actions so these performance elements are what we have previously considered to be the entire agent it takes in percepts 
and decides on actions. So the learning element uses feedback from the critic on how the agent is doing and determines how the performance element should be modified to do better in the future. So now we are having, we are also having the performance of the agent, but the performance is increased or improved on the critics that will be uh, got by the feedback from the elements. So the last component of the learning agent is the problem generator. It is responsible for suggesting actions that will lead to new and informative experiences. So it will be clearly shown in figure 2.5. So this figure shows a journal learning agent. The sensors will transmit data or signal to the critic portion and the performance element. The performance element then transfer the data to the actuators to perform certain tasks and also the critic will be connected to the learning element and the problem generator. So all these features and factors will be combined to form a journal learning agent. So to make the overall design more concrete, let us consider the text example. The performance element consists of whatever collection of knowledge and procedures the taxi has for selecting its driving actions. That will be the task of the performance element. So the taxi goes out on the road, drives, and using this performance element, the critic observes the world and passes information along to the learning element. So after the taxi makes a quick left turn across three lanes of traffic, the critic will observe the shocking language used by the other drivers. So these are all the critics that will be generated by the entire environment. It may be from the neighborhood, it may be from the neighbor nodes, or it may be from the entire environment. So from this experience, the learning element is able to formulate a rule saying this was a bad action, and the performance element is modified by installation of the new rule. So the new rule will be updated if there is a bad action which is performed, so it will be replaced by a new rule. And at last the problem generator, it will identify certain areas of behavior which are in need of improvement and suggest experiments. What type of experiment will be suggested? It's like trying out the brakes on different road surfaces under different conditions. So the, the problem generator will find a new scenario defining different conditions. So it will be implemented and it will be applied on the learning agent. So in this lecture we have a brief discussion about the agents the agent program, the agent functions were discussed and later on we will discuss different types of agents and at the end a learning agent was discussed. So thanks for your attention.